Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Commerce with Chaitanya. So, how are you all? I hope all are doing good. So, we are in a chapter NPO and doing income and expenditure problems. So, today in this class, I am going to teach you fifth problem, which is income and expenditure. So, without any late, shall I read the problem? The following receipt and payment account of Manasvi Library for the year ended 31st March 2020. Receipt and payment account of Manasvi Library for the year ended 2020, 31st March. So, this is the library. So, here is the receipt and payment. So, balance 4550. So, balance we won't take in this uh, okay, income and expenditure account. Entrance fees is 3500. Subscriptions 18,500. Rent of lecture hall 2,500. Interest on investments 950. These are all the receipts. And coming to the payment side, the salaries salary 6,800. Rent 5,250. Investment 3,550. Postage 1,250. And electric charges 730. Books 6,000. So books purchased on. 1st October, okay, 2019. Books purchased on middle of the year. Uh, when date is given beside the transaction, assume that this is the date when books are purchased. Newspaper, 3,700 and this is the balance. Coming to the adjustment, subscriptions amount include 500 for the previous year and outstanding subscriptions for the current year are 1,500. As we discussed in our uh, previous classes, only current year transactions we are going to take into account. So, remaining previous year or next year we simply deduct. So, subscription received in advance. Advance means uh, next year subscriptions we received in advance. So, this is also deduct. Only current year transactions we are going to add. Next, uh, capitalize half of the entrance fees. Entrance fees, okay. Here, okay, here entrance fees is the, is on receipt side. So, capitalized half of the entrance fees. What do you mean by capital? Capitalized means this is a capital income. So, capital income and capital expenditure will show in a balance sheet. So, half of the amount simply we need to capitalize means we will show in a balance sheet. Uh, so, remaining amount will show in a income side. In income and expenditure account. Books are to be depreciated by 5%. So, depreciation is given in this problem. So, let us start. Take the screenshot of this problem. Okay. Otherwise, if you have your textbooks, open it. So, I draw the format for time sale. And uh, so, first we will start with expenditure. So, salaries. Is there any adjustment related to salary? No, there is no adjustment. So, simply write down salaries. This is a two side and this is a buy side. And already we have discussed in income and expenditure account, we won't show balances, okay? Uh, opening balance and closing balances. So, write down two salaries. Amount is 6,000. 800 next uh, rent to rent rent is 5250 next coming to investment so here investment is a asset so this should be shown in a balance sheet so coming to postage Postage amount is 1250, 1250. Next, electric charges to electric charges. Okay, only revenue. So, only revenue expenditure and revenue income will consider in this account. So, electric charges also recurring 730. Amount is 730. Then next, uh, we'll write newspapers to newspapers. Amount is 3,700. Then coming to books. So, 
books depreciation okay will write on expenditure side there is an adjustment related to books books are depreciated so books are depreciated by 5% so simply calculate the percentage books value is 6000 into 5 by into 5 by 100 so zeros two zeros get cancelled 6 5 are 30 this zero so 300 so 300 is the annual depreciation 12 months depreciation but books are purchased in the middle of the year which is first october okay first october means uh, count the months okay october november december january february march six months okay total six months okay so we are going to charge depreciation only for six months because middle of the year books are purchased so simply this is for 12 months and make it into half 300 divided by okay 300 into 6 by 12 6 ones are 6 twos are 2 ones are 2 ones are 2 fives are so 150 is the 6 months depreciation books 150 so write down in bracket 6 months depreciation this is the depreciation amount of 6 months 300 is the 12 months depreciation make it do half 150 150 is the 6 months depreciation okay without uh, doing calculation you can do like that also so next so expenditure side is finished coming to income side entrance fees there is an adjustment of entrance fees capitalize half of the entrance fees okay so capitalize half of the entrance fee means show it in a balance sheet side capital whenever capitalize or capital related uh, expenses or incomes related to capital is given simply we need to show in a balance sheet side why because only revenue expenditure revenue incomes we are going to uh, consider in a income and expenditure account so capitalize means simply half of the amount show in a balance sheet so remaining amount income and expenditure credit side entrance fee what is the amount of entrance fee 3500 so 3500 half make it into half so 1750 1500 or 250 1750 half of the amount we are going to show in a income and expenditure account and remaining capitalized means balance sheet next uh, next uh, subscriptions this is very important subscriptions so in every problem you will see uh, adjustments related to subscriptions so subscription amount is 18500 so there is a adjustment subscriptions amount uh, okay 500 include for the previous year so uh, as you know that only current year transactions we consider previous year next year simply we exclude means we will deduct previous year previous year amount is 500 so 18,000 is the balance amount and outstanding subscription for the current year current year only we are going to add okay remaining we, we are going to deduct so simply add 1500 so uh, 8 18 means 19500 is the answer next to subscriptions received in advance advance means listen this is the this is the 2020 okay so subscriptions received in advance means 2021 amount we received in a 2020 okay this year we received next year amount in advance so we are preparing income and expenditure account for current year so simply deduct received in advance received in advance what is the amount 500 
So finally, nineteen thousand is the subscription amount. Next, uh, rent of lecture hall two thousand five hundred. So this is a recurring rent. Every month we are receiving. So rent of lecture hall two thousand five hundred rent. So this is a recurring income revenue income. So interest on investments also every month or quarterly we receive interest on investments. What is the amount? Nine fifty. So now, is there anything left? Subscriptions over, capitalized over. adjustments depreciation is also over so yeah i am done with all transactions simply close the account now make the totals uh, which side is highest 19000 19 19 20 21 21 20 Uh, 22 500, 22 500, uh, 23 200, 24 200. So 24 200. So highest amount to 24 200. Write both sides and uh, add this. So 6800, uh, 6500 to 13300, 13300. Then uh, Three thousand seven hundred fourteen four thousand four hundred thirty four thousand four hundred eighty five hundred eighty four thousand five hundred and eighty. So eight eight seven. So seventeen thousand eight eighty is the uh, expenditure amount. Okay, this is the income side. So simply deduct. Two thousand four, twenty-four thousand two hundred. This is the income amount. Deduct from income, okay? Deduct expenditure from income. This is an expenditure amount zero. So I am showing simple calculations also so that it will help the students. This is eleven. Eleven eight. Three, one, thirteen, thirteen minus seven, six. Okay, six three two zero, six thousand two zero. Yes, our okay. Yes, we got the answer. So income is more than the expenditure. So it is called surplus. Me gulu to surplus. Surplus amount is six thousand three hundred and twenty. This is the answer. So, excess of income over expenditure. You can write this in in your bracket. Excess of income over expenditure. So successfully we have done our fifth problem. So I hope you like this video. I request all my students and friends uh, do share my videos to your friends. definitely it will going to help you in your exams thanks for watching my video and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you